a uh, man, a lot to talk about here. Tomorrow is the last episode of Friends, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Make up your mind. <laughs> no, it's all anybody's talking about right now. Friends is going off the air, and, uh, you know, it's been on the air for... How long has it been on the air, Jeff? Ten years? Something like that? It's been... It's, what's that? No, we've been on 11. It's been on... Yeah, I think. I don't know. I think for 40 years, Friends has delighted us. <laughs> and we thought we should explore what this loss means to the world of television in a little segment we're calling Thank You for Being Our Friends. I'll stop doing that soon, I promise. No, we're going to do a whole salute to Friends. Now, one area where Friends had a huge influence uh, is on style and fashion. Even here on this show, even we were influenced by the uh, smash hit phenomenon Friends. I, of course, uh, about 10 years ago, had the Rachel haircut when that was first big. Uh, Max, Max then followed suit and got the Monica, which uh, he enjoyed. And our announcer, Joel, didn't want to be left out, so he got the Marcel the Monkey haircut, which uh, <laughs> made him... You know, of all the characters, the one I'll miss most is Chandler, who gave us not only a lot of laughs, but also wild weight fluctuations. That's right. If you watch all the reruns, he's all over the map. So please join me in saying goodbye to the many body types of Matthew Perry. <laughs> He never got shorter. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that phase when he got a lot shorter. All right, now, because Friends was such a phenomenally popular show, just close that damn curtain. Because Friends was such a phenomenally popular show, it often featured cameo appearances from some really huge celebrities, and that was pretty uh, groundbreaking. Celebrities like Julia Roberts, remember that episode? Brad Pitt uh, was on just about two years ago. Stephen Hawking, remember when he was on the show? Uh, Korean dictator Kim Jong-il, that was a... Where's my pudding? Uh, Pope, Pope John Paul II, that was a good one. And of course, Shamu, that might be the best. He was... Uh... Two of those were fake. All right. Now, of course, the driving force behind Friends being a number one show for so many years was that the people love to watch the chemistry between all the stars. And now, with Friends going off the air, NBC's really worried it won't have any shows featuring a fun and witty repartee between good friends. Well, not to worry, NBC. You still have that effortless electric magic that exists between me and Max Weinberg. <laughs> right, Max? That's right. <laughs> Match that, friends, cast. You know, another thing to realize is that the end of Friends means much more than the end of a legendary TV show. For whoa, the whoa, last whoa, 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 wait a second. When you say Friends is ending, you're talking about a TV show. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. Friends, yeah, it's a TV show. Oh, I thought what was ending was the, the overall concept of having friends. <laughs> no, what do you, no. Uh-oh. No more friends! No more friends! No more friends! I read it in the magazine! There's no more friends! Ah, ah, ah. No more friends! No more friends! Ah, ah, ah. No more friends! Oh, 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 ah. No more friends! No more friends! Will, will, will you be my new friend? No. 
Uh, moving right along, um, uh, everyone's trying right now to guess what will happen on tomorrow night's Friends episode. I mean, people are placing bets, and everyone's wondering what's going to happen. Uh, I decided to use my personal connections at NBC to get the inside scoop. So get ready for a huge spoiler, because right now we're, you're going to meet, all of us are going to meet, the mystery man who supplies the big plot twist on the final episode of Friends. <laughs> about time to say farewell to friends. Oh my God. That sounds like our announcer, Joel Goddard. Uh, Joel, are you okay? I'm just gonna miss all those great moments friends has given us over the last 10 years. Well, uh, Joel, uh, you'll always have the memories. That's true. Okay, uh, I do think it's safe to say we're all a little sad that Friends is ending. You know, blah, 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 freaking blah! Okay, excuse me, sir, what's the problem? You know, I've had it up to here with all you NBC whores talking about Friends. Dateline, the Today Show, the Evening News, it's all you network dudes talk about. Well, come on, it's a, it's a big event. You know, and I'm especially disappointed with you, Conan. This is the kind of stuff you're supposed to mock. But you got your nose so far up the peacock's ass, all you can do is add to the hype. Well, I, I just thought that maybe. Well, that... I just thought. Well, I just thought. <laughs> you know, don't bother trying to make an excuse, Conan. I can see right through you, and I hope you and your black soul sleep well on NBC's self-promoting ancestral bed. Shame on you, Conan, and shame on you, NBC. I'm out of here. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, Andy Richter's here. Stick around.